Haunted by the aftermath of the Treaty of Versailles, economic and military collapse, poverty and disillusionment, the German people were looking for hope. This hope was given to them by the new government, which set out to restore Germany to its former glory and beyond, no matter what the cost. Will this hope be false? That is for you to decide. You will assume the role of Franz Halder, an officer of an old and renowned Prussian school of military tradition, who is soon to become the German Army Chief of General Staff. You will have to do the bidding of the highest authorities, and at the same time make sure your fatherland and its people do not perish in their deadly struggle. Your actions are what will set apart fame and infamy, victory and defeat, prosperity and collapse, reason and insanity. Soviet Russia is making futile attempts to establish the Bolsheviks regime in Spain. The German government supports the brave volunteers who gallantly resist the puppet government of the Spanish Republicans. Following the call of their valiant hearts, many Germans volunteered to fight alongside the Spanish rebels. General Halder. I came upon your orders, sir. Alder, as you know, our new divisions formed with volunteers are about to be sent to Spain. Germany needs an experienced commander who would lead them to victory. I believe any officer should be gallant and put Germany above all else. Well, maybe someone comes to mind. This assignment will certainly open new career prospects. I'm convinced the officer's honor should always be the main motive, not the career ladder. That is exactly what I have been looking for. Halder, I like your approach. I know you're a very talented and gallant officer. If you had asked me, I would have sent you personally to put things in order there. Yet I cannot order you in this case. Herr Goering, please allow me to lead our forces. I will depart for Spain immediately. The German government is highly grateful to you for this act of bravery. The civil war in Spain has been quite advantageous for us. We've spread our influence to a European state of major importance and given our pilots a baptism in fire. Still, this conflict is turning into a tiresome affair. While the Warmark has plenty of bigger goals to focus on, the Republican government is on its last legs, so get in there and deal the death blow. Of course, armed with our cutting-edge technology, the Francoist troops would eventually win regardless. But this could be good for the public image. A good reminder for the Spaniards who they owe their victory to. The Republican government is holed up in Barcelona. Our primary objective is Tarragona. If we take it, we will split the Republican territory in two and leave the Catalonian capital cut off. Your forces are comprised of both core and non-core units. Core unit strength indicator is green and round shaped, and for non-core units it is yellow and hexagon shaped. Non-core units are allocated for one mission only, while the core units will accompany you throughout the campaign. You will be able to level them up and provide them with new equipment. These units are the ones which should be under your primary protection. Ammunition and fuel icons next to unit strength will allow you to quickly get important information about it. If the unit is still able to move during the current turn, the canister icon will be green. If it can no longer move, the icon will be gray. Likewise, the ammunition icon shows whether the unit is attacked this turn. If the unit is low on ammunition or fuel, the corresponding icon is yellow. It becomes red once the unit has run out of it completely.
Tanks are ideal for a rapid offensive and open terrain. However, they are vulnerable in close quarters to the infantry units in difficult terrain, such as cities, mountains, forests, swamps, shallows, and well-entrenched infantry units. Artillery reporting! No army can fight without infantry. Reconnaissance is extremely important in an offensive, since it provides you with full intelligence information regarding the presence of enemy forces, thus making your attack more effective. A reconnaissance unit can move several times per turn, as long as it has move points. Ready to roll. With speed and precision. Infantry is the army's core. Artillery is the basis of the firepower of your forces. It can weaken enemy fortifications to allow your troops to attack without heavy losses. It is also good for defense, as it provides fire support to the ground units within its range. However, its main strength... Ready to depart. This unit is on the verge of damage. damage is indicated with the numbers above the unit being attacked. For ground and aircraft units, there are two types of damage, lethal and non-lethal. Both lethal and non-lethal damage decrease the unit's strength. However, non-lethal damage at the same time increases the number of units damaged, which can later be restored. Naval units always receive... That put the fear of God in them! In Gadarian, we trust. We were born to make war. Infantry is good for assaulting the enemy positions after the artillery and air bombardment. It is also the best unit for storming cities, mountains, forests, and well-entrenched positions. A well-entrenched infantry is a tough target for the enemy assault. Always ready! The battle is over. Time to allocate ammo for priority. Your unit has been withdrawn from a supply zone. The delivery- We have taken Tarragona, Field Marshal Goering. Good, good. The Republican government must be- We will do battle! You have selected an entrenched unit. When a ground unit finishes its turn while still being able to move, it gains one level of entrenchment. The unit can have up to six levels of entrenchment. Each level of entrenchment increases all defenses by one. The unit loses all levels of entrenchment when it moves. Naval and aircraft units cannot gain entrenchment. Each attack against an entrenched unit reduces the entrenchment level by one. Our tanks are not heavy, but fast. With speed and precision. Our tanks are not heavy, but fast. Panzer Corps at the ready. Speed is our forte. This unit has heavy equipment. Units with heavy equipment cannot move if they do not have ground transport. Additionally, they cannot board air transport and can only disembark from naval transport 